So welcome back viewers. Today's video I am going to talk about my collector story. The story of myself as a collector and this was requested or suggested by one of my viewers, Old Plastic, and I thought it might make for a good video. So like many of you, I am of the generation who grew up with Star Wars. I was just the right age to really be into the movies and the toys, and so started receiving Star Wars figures as Christmas gifts and birthday gifts. I was really into the figures and play sets, and I have a lot of childhood memories associated with Star Wars toys. I can remember rifling through rows of figures looking for a particular one, mostly Luke Skywalker figures. I can remember Christmas mornings getting up super early to tear into my presents and uh, see what Star Wars things I got. And then I can remember inheriting uh, Star Wars collections from my older cousins who sort of outgrew Star Wars. They outgrew toys. They were a few years older than me. And so my collection increased exponentially. And I always held on to my Star Wars. I didn't uh, ever want to give it away or sell it at garage sales. I always wanted to hang on to it. And then, then came the dark times when uh, Star Wars was no longer available in stores. I have a few memories from that as well. Um, well, you could occasionally find old stock at a KB toy store, like a bandolier strap or something like that. It was kind of unwanted, but I would go ahead and buy it anyways. This was like in the late 80s, like 87, 88, somewhere in there. I also uh, remember writing a letter to Kenner Products um, asking them if I could go back and purchase Star Wars figures and uh, never did never did hear back from that letter. It was an unanswered letter. But, um, and I remember in the late 80s, early 90s, when West End Games started producing the role-playing game, the Star Wars role-playing game. And I remember getting the Star Wars source book and reading through that. And about this time, I stumbled into a cache of Star Wars things at a comic book shop that I promptly uh, bought um, pretty much everything the guy had. They were in pretty good condition. So this was kind of my second phase of uh, collecting Star Wars when I was, um, at this time I was probably in junior high school and I came across that um, cache of Star Wars at a comic book shop. And um, I remember making flyers to um, put up in various places, uh, advertising that I was looking to buy people's Star Wars collections. Um, didn't have much luck with that, though, but I thought it was worth a shot. And then I really was um, introduced into a new world uh, when I discovered Toy Shop Magazine publication where uh, toy dealers sold Star Wars and various other vintage toys. And uh, so I started buying out of Toy Shop Magazine. At that time, figures were, mint on card figures were like 30 to $50. This was like in the early 90s, 91, 92. And uh, I got myself a Luke Bespin and a new Luke Jedi. And uh, unfortunately, I was still of, of the age where I wanted to have them off the card. So I took them off the cards. At, at this point in time. So I, I was still sort of collecting in high school occasionally. Um, and then when I, I guess my junior and senior year, I kind of lost interest and stopped, stopped buying toys, um, pursued other things. But um, 
and then I, during college, I didn't collect either. So I, there was sort of a hiatus, a pretty long hiatus, really, um, up until, um, I guess it was around 2008, and I had finished my master's degree at that time, and I had a little bit of downtime on my hands. Also, probably another factor that got me into collecting was that um, um, I got a laptop and started exploring eBay. And uh, before then, I was just using uh, the school's computer. I was uh, kind of poor, cash poor in those days. And so I would go to computer labs at school. And uh, needless to say, when I was there, I wasn't going on eBay and looking up toys. So when I got that laptop, though, um, I discovered the thrill of eBay. And um, I should backtrack a little bit. I was um, at home at my parents, and I decided to start selling my toys, my vintage Star Wars toys. And uh, there was a toy show in nearby St. Louis, and I took a whole bunch of stuff up there and sold off a lot of loose um, duplicates and... um, sort of enjoyed the thrill of selling uh, selling toys. and um, But at the same time, I was taking the, the proceeds from the sales and putting it back into more vintage Star Wars that I would find on eBay. And uh, just really enjoyed it, R- enjoyed getting things shipped to me. It was kind of re-experiencing the magic of... Um, getting toys also what goes hand in hand in my uh, revival of collecting is probably YouTube like um, I would discover YouTubers like the blacked out Ewoks or um, action figure grader and uh, many more but I just enjoyed uh, seeing other people's passion for collecting toys and it's kind of a validation. It's like you're not the only person who collects toys. There's a a documentary called uh, Collectible Spectacle uh, that came out in the early days of YouTube. It featured a lot of different collectors like Mark Bellamo and uh, just listening to them talk about toys, uh, sort of rekindled my interest as well. So that kind of brings brings us up to my current phase of collecting, which is um, uh, I'm a pretty diverse collector of Star Wars uh, items. I've got a lot of play sets, some vehicles, but more play sets. I find that um, there's a period there, and this is kind of past, where play sets were uh, relatively cheap compared to the Anton card figures. So I, I um, did a lot of buying of uh, play sets for a while. The one play set I don't have is the Death Star play set. I think that may be the only one I don't have. I have a uh, Jabba the Hutt dungeon play set, but it's... Um, not the one with uh, Barada and a man man. It's the uh, other version. Probably my most desirable playset is my Canadian Dagobah playset. I just did a video on that. Um, it's a 85 CAS 85. That's another thing to talk about is grading. Just in the past two, two or three years here, I started grading my collection with CAS and that too is like kind of re when, whenever you get a shipment back and it's been graded that kind of um, mimics the uh, joy and excitement the thrill of getting a Star Wars item I enjoy the grading process but I have to say there's some items some of my lo- uh, loose unassembled play sets that I've kind of regretted uh, having graded because um, 
if it's a mint and sealed box, it makes sense to go ahead and get it graded and encased in acrylic. But if it's uh, unassembled, part of the the uh, joy of it is is opening it up and looking at the items as if it was Christmas morning and you first got and you just got the item. And you can't do that if it's encased in acrylic. So the other aspect to my current collecting is uh, being sort of a variant collector, uh, namely a variants of Luke Bespin and Luke Jedi. And uh, I enjoy making discoveries and comparing uh, variants, going online, consulting online resources like on the SWCA or there's... Um, Imperial Gunnery, and uh, it's, it, I think it's pretty interesting to know about the different factories where they made different variants. But I'm by no means an expert on variants. I just have a little bit of knowledge that I've acquired over the years through experience. So that pretty much brings brings us up to date as far as my collector's story. I don't have any plans to stop collecting, but recently I haven't been buying much because prices have been so crazy. And uh, I've had some uh, personal expenses recently, so I've kind of slowed down in the past few months. I don't really have any specific goals as a collector um, like uh, for example the Padawan collector where he uh, sets himself a goal to collect the entire run of figures or the entire run of play sets is his current goal I think if you know that channel I'm more of an opportunist I just sort of um, buy things that I see that are good deals and add them to my collection so it's kind of catch as catch can as far as my collecting philosophy goes. So that's basically my collector's story. What is your collector's story, viewers? Did you ever stop collecting and why was that? Well, a lot of times circumstances come into play with um, your collecting habits, your financial situation, for example. <laughs> is a big factor so please leave a comment and tell me your story as a collector if you like this video check out my other vintage Star Wars videos i will leave a link in the description to a past video i made about my luke bespin obsession and i also kind of go into my story in that video and um, thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video